Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today I'm going to show you Scott Skinner's tune Hector the Hero. <laughs> Now this tune was written by J. Scott Skinner, who was a, um, a Victorian fiddle player in Scotland, probably the most influential in the history of Scottish fiddling. Uh, he brought a huge amount of technique to his playing and a competitive nature. And uh, a, a study of his life shows that he was <laughs> an arrogant show-off. But this tune also shows that he had great sensitivity in his playing and in his composition. And there is no finer tune, I think, than Hector the Hero. If you want to hear a recorded version of this, then look at the um, transatlantic sessions with Jenna Reed and Ali Bain playing this, and it will break your heart. Uh, the tune was written uh, not for some um, ancient uh, hero, but for Sir Hector MacDonald of the Gordon Highlanders. And he was a soldier who rose from the rank of private to major general. And uh, certainly at that time this was extremely rare for someone to rise all the way through the ranks. And uh, unfortunately uh, the, um, the rest of the top ranks of the army were not happy about a commoner uh, joining them. <laughs> and um, they, he, he was at the end of his career, he was framed and um, ended up killing himself, which is very sad. And Scott Skinner wrote this tune to remember uh, this guy who really was a hero, not only uh, in a military fashion, but also for the working class, for successfully rising to the top. This, uh, incidentally, is a request for Hazel. So, Hazel, thank you for asking for this, because it's such a lovely tune. Um, first thing before we start playing is, if you can play vibrato, then do. Not only because it's a slow and passionate tune, but also because Scottish music, unlike Irish, does welcome vibrato. It sounds very appropriate. We're going to play the tune in two different octaves, um, which is very common. Being in A, it works well at the lower end and at the upper end. And it's quite easy to transfer from one to the other. We'll start off with all the way through on the, um, in the lower octave. And we'll do it once, we'll do it each section once, and I'll repeat with uh, ornaments, but no ornaments to start with. So it's one, two, three, one, two. <laughs> not an official term, <laughs> but I do use it a lot. If anyone knows what a traditional fiddler would call one of those, then do tell me. Uh, so basically you're starting with the lower note in the scale, or sometimes with the previous note in the melody, and just slurring from that into the melody note. Now that is called a double cut. So again, you're slurring from the two notes of the um, the two ornament notes into the melody note, and a double cut is when there's two notes. A single cut is when there's one note, and I do have a video about this. So hammer on again. Another double cut. Another hammer on. Hammer on. Uh, 
ones, none of them are essential, but putting some of them in, I think, really adds to the flavour of the tune, and dropping them in and out in different positions makes it much more interesting to play. Into the second half, starting with no ornaments. <laughs> Same thing, almost exactly, uh, up, up the octave, um, and most of the ornaments work exactly the same as they do in the lower octave, but if you, you might find that some of them will be uh, slightly different if you want. And uh, some people change octave not after a whole time through the tune, but uh, you might do an A section and then up the octave for the repeat of the A section, and the same with the B. Or you might do all of the A section with repeats in the lower and all of the B section in the upper, if you liked. And if you happen to have Ali Bain in the room, then he might well play harmony with you, as he does on the um, transatlantic sessions. But that's not always a possibility. So now let's go through the uh, tune again, but in the upper octave.
play that, there won't be a dry eye in the house. If you would like a copy of the sheet music, then do subscribe and send me an email, and I'll be very happy to send that to you. Uh, and I'll see you again soon.